my channel. So today I wanted to show you guys how to get this look right here. Um, I was actually about to like run out and run some, some errands and whatnot. Um, and then as I was doing my makeup, I was like, you know what, let me, let me go ahead and just film this look. Let me show them how, you know, I do like an everyday, like everyday slay, natural beat-ish type look. I know some people like when they're off of work or whatnot or when they're running errands, they don't really use put on makeup or they don't really, you know, go this far out. But anytime I'm running errands or I'm doing something like 99.9% .9 of the time, there's something afterwards that I'm going to be doing. So whether it be, you know, going out to dinner or meeting up with friends or going out to lunch, like I'm, I'm going to be doing something. So why not go ahead and just beat this face right now and that way you don't have to do it later. But yeah, so this is just kind of like my basic, you know, everyday look. Um, this is really the look that I do actually wear to work almost every day with the exception of just like a couple items that I don't really add in. But other than that, all about foundation, highlighter, lashes, and then I am out the door. So it really doesn't take me that long to get this look. Um, I really wanted to make this tutorial like a talk through, but where I am right now, they're having like a pool party outside. So that was not happening. <laughs> but the great thing is that you guys will be able to see all of the products that I'm using in the video. Um, and then of course, everything will be linked down below as always. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions or whatnot, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And then if you like the video, please feel free to give this video a like. Um, also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, but I'm trying to think if I have anything else. Nope. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Bye guys. So I'm first going in with my MAC Strobe Cream and then I'm topping it off with the Becca Backlight Primer. Both of these are just to add a really nice glow to my skin. I'm next going in with the Tarte Clean Slate Smoothing Primer. You guys saw me use this in my last video and it really helps to just fill in those pores. Um, love that primer. Next I'm going in with my MAC Prep and Prime pin in the color Peach Luster. This is just really helps to color correct the skin. Just dabbing at it. Next I'm adding my NARS Hot Sand Illuminator. Um, Y'all have seen me use this many of times um, before and it really just helps to add like an overall nice natural glow to the skin. Next I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel and my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, I love the luminosity of the Genius Gel foundation, but then I also love how the Too Faced one adds a matte finish. So that's why I like mixing both of those in. Just dabbing that into the skin. Um, and I've really loved how this combination has looked on my skin recently. Next I'm going in with the Makeup Forever HD Concealer and then um, just adding that. And then once I'm done, I'm going in with my Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. Another, another oldie but goodie, another thing you guys have seen me use plenty of times. Just kind of, again, adding that into the skin to just really conceal and highlight my face. Just topping that off, I'm topping it off with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I've kind of gone back to um, setting my under eye with the damp beauty blender. I started doing this and then I stopped for a second and now I've kind of gone back to it. Um, and then I'll go in and brush that away. Next going in with the Cover FX uh, liquid, um, what are they called? Oh man, the Cover FX enhancing drops in the color Moonlight. Um, so I dusted away my secret brightening powder and then I'm going in with that. The great thing about this product is that you can um, layer it on top of powders if you want it to um, and it still looks good. Next I'm going in with the Laura Geller, excuse me, Laura Geller um, highlighter in the color Ballerina. This is another one that I'm sure you guys have seen me use 
before. I have like all of her highlights and I'm so in love. This is such a pretty like highlight for the skin, especially um, for dark women or women that are more tan. Um, it's a really pretty color. So just highlighting um, my cheekbones, my nose, um, the center of my nose, and then my cupid's bow. I'm really going for an all over glowy look. Topping that off, I'm finishing it with the Tarte Finishing Powder. It's the Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. It's just a white translucent powder and it helps to really just set my skin. Next, I'm going in with the NYX Contour Palette. I'm taking that darkest shade in the contour kit to um, just kind of contour my face. <laughs> I'm going to be contouring the sides of my cheeks, um, underneath my jawline, and then I'll also be contouring my nose as well. And I love to contour my jawline because I think that it really helps to create a more structured and defined jawline and just really helps to clean up um, any, any extra meat you might have under there. <laughs> Next, I'm going in and I am just blending that out. I'm then adding my Bobbi Brown bronzer right on top. Of course, again, another oldie but goodie. I love this bronzer so much. Um, I feel like if I were stuck on an island, this would be one of the, the staple items that I would take with me. It's definitely this bronzer. It's just so beautiful. Going back into that NYX contour kit, I'm taking that banana color and just adding that under my cheekbone to just really sharpen my contour. Next, I'm dipping into the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette and I'm gonna be taking the color Burnt Orange and Raw Sienna and mixing that together. And I'm just adding that all over the lid. Next, I'm going in with two MAC uh, Pink Pots. I got them in the color Indian Wood, which is this color right here. And I am using that color Indian Wood to just place all over my eye. Um, the other color that I picked up was the color Let Me Pop, which is like a really pretty, just like rosy champagne -y color. And this is the color Let Me Pop, really pretty. I've been using both of these every day, like literally every day. <laughs> um, going back in and blending that in. Next, I'm going in with the Urban Decay 24 Hour Liner. It's in the color Stag. Uh, I also added the Maybelline Gel Liner to the top of my eye as well. Just to kind of wing it out a little bit. Going back into my Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, I'm grabbing the color Cypress Umber and Red Oak Creek. And I'm just gonna be adding that to my bottom lash line. Just kind of smoking it out a little bit. And yes, I do have a lash in my hand. <laughs> I'm waiting for the lash glue to dry. Um, I'm popping on the Coco Lashes. Um, these are in the style Goddess. Going back in and just kind of wiping away that excess powder. And then I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance palette and picking up the color Primavera and popping that color into my inner corner just to really brighten it up. Next, going in with the Better Than Sex mascara from Too Faced, my all time, hands down, favorite mascara ever. This would be another item that I would certainly take with me on a deserted island. Going into my NARS blush, um, I picked up the color Matahari, which is just like a really pretty pink blush, but it does have a little bit of a bluish undertone to it. Um, it's just beautiful on my skin complexion. Next, going in with the MAC lip pencil in the color Mahogany. Just adding that all over my lip, um, lining my lips with that and just really adding it all over. I love this color. It's like a reddish brown, like a chocolate cherry color. Next going in with the MAC lipstick in the color Persistence. Uh, this is such a beautiful, like reddish nude color. 
Um, I love this color so much. I think this color is a perfect color for fall, for spring, for basically any season. And then I'm topping the entire look off um, with the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip gloss in the color Kristen, which is also a really pretty mauve nude colored gloss. So yeah, so that's the look guys.